don't know. It was all pretty much the same throughout. I don't remember any particular highlight, but I just got out of it. I really haven't time to think about it. Um, maybe when I said uh, and corrected both Cuomo and, and Charles Barron about hydrofracking and hydraulic fracturing, it seemed to get a nice response, but that wasn't, you know, a major issue. How do you think that your opponents did with um, responding to the state budget crisis, and were their solutions uh, realistic? No, and unfortunately we didn't get time to go into this, but in a stagnant economy where demand is down in a consumer and the business is not investing because they don't see the consumer, to cut state spending creates a vicious cycle of stagnation, which means lower tax revenues, a vicious cycle of deficits and depression. And that's where they're going to take us. This is Hoover economics. And that's where the two major party candidates are heading. I mean, that's why I said in my closing statement, it's really between, and I agree with Charles Barron, Palladino's talked himself out of this election just by offending every group you can think of. But it's really a choice between the Cuomo austerity plan or the Green Party's prosperity plan. Some of the media complained that there were too many uh, candidates up here tonight. Do you think there was actually an effective format? And are any other debates uh, planned with all the candidates at this point? Why are we rationing political speech? There are not that many opportunities. People are getting saturated with the two major candidates who can afford to buy expensive broadcast uh, media ads. So I think this was fair. It was equal footing. And... Uh, there are going to be future debates, but the major party candidates haven't yet agreed to go to them. We're going to have a debate on hydrofracking and New York's energy future in my home city of Syracuse on October 25th. There's a debate in uh, Rochester on the 22nd, and I hear there's one out in Buffalo, but as far as I know, this is just going to be the uh, so-called minor candidates that really want to talk to everybody. The major party candidates, they don't want to be out there where they have to answer questions. They want to do media ads and sell themselves. And so I think that's the difference. So I think, yeah, this forum was good, and I really appreciate News 12 Networks and Newsday setting up a forum for all of us and uh, giving us all the chance to have an equal footing. Do you think the media is fair with you? The narrative in the mainstream media is the Democrat versus the Republican. And they're following a horse race, and they're, they're looking at personality and human interest angles. They're not follow, following the policy debate. And the stakes are very high, whether we're facing catastrophic climate change or persistent high unemployment. As far as we can see into the future, this is very serious for people. And the media has a responsibility to let people know, the voters, what all their policy alternatives are. And their main narrative is not doing that. But what I'm telling people is vote for the Green Party, get us into the narrative because we have such a big vote. Make us a major third party and then next time we'll have more of a policy debate, more breadth in it. Thank you. There's two weeks uh, between now and the election. What are your plans over the next two weeks to try to get your message out? I'm going to barnstorm the whole state, do news conferences in every major media market. We are going to buy some media, at least so people know that we're doing the best we can with what we got. Uh, so I, I, I'll answer any reporter that wants to talk. I'll be there. We'll do the media, and I'll be running back and forth across the state, probably on three to five hours sleep. Till next day. Uh, you, you said if you had a, a second vote, you would cast one for uh, Charles Barron. Um, voters out there, what, what, what is the difference between uh, the Freedom Party and the Green Party? Well, we are an independent party. We do not cross endorse major parties. Charles Barron's an enrolled Democrat, but he's running on the Freedom Line. Warren Redlick is an enrolled Republican, and he's running on the Libertarian Line. I'm enrolled in the Green Party. We have nothing to do with the Democratic or Republican parties. We are trying to be a major party on our own two feet. We don't have a particular beef with one of the other parties. We're not satelliting around them and cross endorsing their candidates. We want to offer a third alternative. And a Gallup poll out a few weeks ago said 58% of Americans want a third major party. The Green Party is trying to be that. I think that's what distinguishes us.